In Jake Owen's song, Startin' With Me, he says, I took a swing at my old man one Christmas. Do you know why? The story goes that Jake Owen didn't pick up a guitar until his freshman year of college when a wakeboarding accident ended his golf career at Florida State. And that's true, except Mama Owen remembers her son performing at an even younger age. Like in the sixth grade, he got up in the lunchroom and with twin brother Jared and future tennis pro Marty Fish sang Brooks and Dunn's Boots Gooten Boogie. Yeah, young Jake was a class clown. Actually, young Josh was a class clown. Joshua Ryan Owen changed his name to Jake because there were already too many country Joshes on the radio when he signed his record deal on September 25th 2005. But back up, the college part is interesting. Jake started gigging at a bar called Pot Bellies. He was in a cover band called Yeehaw Junction, but he'd sneak in originals like Eight Second Ride when he could. A few coincidences. Yeehaw Junction was the name of a town 30 minutes from his hometown in Barrow Beach. And that lyric about Tobacco Road and Eight Second Ride? Well, the song was co-written by Eric Durant, a college friend who would go on to form the Tobacco Road Band. One could argue Eight Second Ride is his most important early song for a reason we'll get to shortly. As for starting with me, yeah, much of that stuff happened. During a candid 2007 interview, he told CMT he'd come home after a big night of drinking on Christmas Eve, and his dad was upset about it. Jake started smarting off, and, well, thankfully it was not his dad's last Christmas. They're very close these days, even closer after his dad battled cancer and kicked its ass. So he played Tallahassee in a Vero Beach eatery called the Riverside Cafe, where he'd get paid $75 and a dolphin sandwich. Then he blindly moved to Nashville with only nine college credits to go before he earned degrees in English and political science. His parents, Mitzi and Steve, were not super enthusiastic, and who can blame them? Owen took a job caddying, but within months he had a record deal. And then a single. All of a sudden, he's opening shows for Kenny Chesney, Sugarland, Keith Urban. To be honest, it came a little quick. He didn't get to know the Nashville country community, and his second album suffered because of it. For album three, he got some help writing songs and had more people cheering for him. And then, blammo. Hit after hit after hit, his offstage life had been equally exciting, albeit frightening at times. He admits he's prone to bad accidents. There's the wakeboarding thing, and then his snowboarding accident from 2012, and of course the go-karting accident with NASCAR racer Kevin Harvick that led to, close your eyes, cause we're gonna show it, this. At least he has a sense of humor about it. Other exciting things happened too. He got married to this hottie named Lacey Buchanan in 2012. They'd actually met in 2009 when she was like 19 and he was closer to 30. He didn't date for a couple of years, even though their first hours together were pretty white hot. Yeah, she was the green-eyed girl causing those bad boys to fight in his eight-second ride video. Was there instant chemistry? Yeah, we had some that day, but I didn't want to be a guy that hit on the girl in this video. You know what yeah. I mean? I got her number though. <laughs> his proposal was unexpected to say the least. I was singing uh, Girl I Can't Buy You a Big Diamond Ring, uh, you know, Don't Think I Can't Love You, a song I wrote, and I figured what a perfect opportunity to ask her to marry me because I just said in the song that I can't buy you a big diamond ring. They got married a month later, and baby Pearl was born that November. Follow Jake on Twitter to see a waterfall of adorable pictures of her. Seriously, this girl is made of sugar. So now you know Jake Owen. Other things to know? He has a tattoo of his wife's lips on his right bicep. He sings barefoot and occasionally golfs barefoot. He gets upset by artists that use their Twitter to sell crap to fans. And he's still an awesome golfer. At one point, he had like a three handicap. We'll close with a few shameless Jake Owen shirtless pictures, because even a dude has to admit that the guy looks pretty good without it on, even when it's wrapped around his because he split his pants on stage. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Twitter and Facebook, and be sure to check back every Monday for more You Think You Know Country.